Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Chris, welcome to Show Me the Hogs. Today I'm in Simpson Park doing some gar fishing. My target area was at the spillway inside the park, but the park doesn't open till 7. So until it opened, I went to the mouth of the creek where it empties into the Merrimack to see if there are any fish. And there were some promising signs. All right guys, I think this gar's had enough time to choke that bluegill down. Here we go. Okay, I guess not. I probably jumped the gun on setting the hook on that fish, but the park was open, time to hit the spillway. As I fished the spillway, it was apparent the gar were very much active. Thumbs got that, guys. Let's go ahead and take it. The trick right now is to not set the hook too early because Lord knows I want to pull up in this rod right now. He's running with it. All right, here we go. Come on, man. I give you like five minutes to eat that thing. You got to that kid eat it. Where's my screwdriver and my plumber's helper? I'll open up his mouth and I'll shove it in. So I'm baiting these things up. I'm filleting the bluegill so I've got that meaty side and then I'm just cutting off little squares like this. They're no bigger than the size of my fingernail. So this is why I'm rolling with rig wise. I've got my chunk of bluegill sitting on a size 12 dry fly hook and my leader here is 14 pound mono and I've just got a bobber on top. That's all it takes to catch these gar. The key is to wait for the gar to get the hook in the back of its mouth where the flesh is soft, and bam, you're golden. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Come on, baby, come on, baby, come on. I got off blast. The morning was a bit of a struggle. Gar picking up and dropping baits, bad hook sets, but I was finally able to get a gar that was willing to commit to the cause. Oh yeah, hook up guys. Gotta hook up. Well guys, that's crying shame because that was a really nice fish. I think what happened was that fish just kept running and running and running all the way down to that where that down tree is and just got tied up in that mess. I could still feel him, but at some point I just felt nothing but dead weight. So it may have gotten off or it may have just gotten tied up in that branch so bad I just couldn't get it out. I'm gonna rig it back up and get it back out there. Can only keep trying. A real shame I didn't catch that gar, but the funny thing about fishing is sometimes it'll throw you a bone when you least expect it. Oh, here we go. I didn't even know that guy was on there. Nice. Gloves, guys. I do not mess with gar without gloves because I have not done that in the past and gotten messed up. Not just because of the teeth, but because of their scales. Their scales are super sharp. Slice you the wrong way. Ooh, baby, that's a bad day. Cool stuff. All right, buddy, see you later. Man, gar are awesome. If you enjoy gar fishing as much as I do, and frankly, even if it's the bane of your existence, hit that subscribe button and let us know what kind of videos you wanna see in the future. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let us know what you thought of it in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time.